dance music is the biggest form of music in the world right now. I love EDM and trap. I'm obsessed. I mean, I, I love this whole movement and creativity of, of very powerful electronic music. Max really wants to make sure he actually looks like he's a real DJ. Getting things right and being authentic to the world that we're talking about is really important to me. You know, I am working really hard to get it legit. I really want it to look right. Well, I've never really seen a movie about electronic dance music. It's kind of subversive. It's got a lot of sort of stigma around it. It is a young, emerging, trendy world. This movie completely accurately represents the world, and we won't stop at anything less than that. I knew all about it. I, there's like tons of pictures of all my friends on Facebook, and I'd never seen a movie or a script that really uh, showed it like this does, and it's so friggin' real. This is honestly my favorite part of the night. It's the moment before it starts. And the thing that always amazed me about the EDM genre is that you can walk into a room of 5,000, 10,000 at EDC, 150,000 people, and there's something unifying about it. That's sort of what electronic dance music is about, that sense of wholeness. There's something magical when you're there with your friends and you're having the time of your life and the confetti blast goes off and you feel like the good time will never end and that this is, this is what happiness is. In that moment on the dance floor when you're at one of these things and somebody's DJing, you really are sort of one with everyone. It doesn't matter your background, where you came from, how old you are, what color your skin is. Everyone in that moment is just the human race and you are very much in love with every person around you. I've been to Coachella, I've seen the DJs, I've been in the electronic tents when a guy with a laptop and some equipment will get up on stage and tell 20,000 people to jump and they'll all jump. Zac Efron, he's lived it, he's loved it, and his excitement and his enthusiasm to be a part of it was exactly what we wanted. His emotional investment into the film from day one, Zach went out on his own, spent his own money, bought DJ gear, started training, I mean, just really kind of became this character. We had the good fortune of having Jason Stewart, who goes by Them Jeans, a, a local DJ and musician in LA, be our electronic music consultant, who has worked with Zach tirelessly, teaching him how to DJ and how to perform electronic music live. When I first started working with Zach, I made him go to Guitar Center and buy all the equipment. I bought actual decks, Pioneer decks, and I sort of just when I'm at home, I just, that's really kind of all I do now. I put the Xbox away, and I've just been spinning. I just went over to his house a few days every week for the, a couple of months leading up to it. We kind of hung out, got to know each other. Have you ever tried a table before, Zach? Is this the first thing that you like to teach? <laughs> Of this course. is what it's like to spin. <laughs> the first week is only uh, table maintenance. What about like what about like this? He learned about a lot of new forms of dance music that he would never have been exposed to. It's really cool. I respect it a lot. I can't really do it very well yet. <laughs> Don't just do like coming, finger. Coming, coming, right in there. Kind of put your whole the whole hand into it. Grab that. Because you're like boom. It was mainly just getting him comfortable in front of the DJ booth. You know, there's a million knobs and faders and buttons and bells and whistles. It's hard, man. It's not like uh, it's not like I thought it would be. These are called CDJs, and they're normally CD players. So before you could put all of your music on the USB and play it through, you would just show up with like a CD wallet and you put the CDs in and pull them out and, and mix them. But this, it's all controlled on here. We only had a couple months to actually teach him how to DJ, so we had to really move quickly through it. He's a very quick learner, and he has a lot of musical talent already, so he picked it up pretty quickly. It's been kind of a crash course, but I'm getting good, you know? It's essentially, I can, I can beat match, I can sort of pick good tracks and do smooth transitions.
Electronic music just kind of let go. But that's just me. The dance party that we did at James House, we had some professional dancers and there was a, some really good music playing and it was, it felt like a dance party. You know, the hard part is the style and sort of the little things that enhance the song or that sort of change it or alter it in a different way and make it your own. You were good out there. You really know how to work a crowd. The key to being a good DJ is half musical selection and half ability to mix and also the ability to read a room and know what you have to do. You might have to drastically change the direction of music in order to keep the crowd dancing. Everyone in the movie, I think Zach has the biggest transformation between who he is in real life and who the character is. Are we ever gonna be better than this? He wanted to do exactly what we wanted to do, which was bring this magical experience to people everywhere. His dedication to the project has been, I couldn't ask for more from anyone. This music is made to bring people together and to feel at peace. And that's why it's called We Are Your Friends. You know, this is us. This is our generation. This is our music. This is what we want to hear. This comes from us, and we can change the world.